Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about setting up iPerf3 on a QNAP NAS using a third-party repository. And I've done a series of videos on the QNAP NAS. I'll put a link in the description to my playlist on that. I've also done some videos on iPerf3. I'll put a link in the description to that playlist too. And I'll put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So iPerf3 is a tool you can use for checking the bandwidth between network resources. So you could put it on your server and on your computer and you can test and see, like say if you have a gigabit ethernet, you can see if you're getting gigabit speed out of that um, or a 10 gigabit network or things like that. You could try copying a file over, but there could be other points that would slow the thing down like your hard drive or whatever. Um, this just checks the network link. So first thing I need to do is install a third party repository. So I'll click on App Center and then I'll click on the little gear in the upper right hand corner and I'll click on App Repository. I'll click Add. And I'm going to be adding the QNAP Club. I'll put a link in the description to this also. It says, follow our guide to install these QPKGs. So I'll click that. I'm just gonna click through the steps here. Okay, so we want this URL here. And this is the repository. So I'll copy that. I'll go back into the QNAP NAS. I'll paste that in. I'll just name it, I'll hit add, and then I'll hit close. And you'll see it added it over here on the left. So I'll click on it. I'm gonna click search. I'll type iperf3. You see it came up here, I'll hit install. So with third party software, you know there could be malicious stuff going on or things like that. So there's always a risk and this is just telling you that. So I'm gonna click, I understand the risks. I'll hit install. So what this will do is this will install the iperf server on the machine and you can also use the iperf client. So I'll show both of those. Okay, so that's installed. I'll switch over to my terminal. I'll type iperf 3-c and then I'll type the IP address of my NAS. So I'm on a Mac, I have iperf3 installed, and in my playlist I have uh, ways to install this on Windows, Linux, Android, things like that. So I'll hit this, I'll hit enter, and we see I'm getting 358 megabits per second to the NAS. So now I want to go in and use the client on the QNAP NAS. So I'll hit control panel. I'll go down here to Telnet SSH. And you want to make sure you have SSH on, and then I'll hit Edit Access Permission, and I'll make sure I'm selected as a user here, and I'll hit Apply, which I've already done that. So this allows me to log into the NAS. So I'm going to actually open up two terminals here. This one I'll log into my NAS with SSH. And on my Mac, I'll set up iperf server. So you can see my Mac is listening. So my Mac, I'll make my Mac smaller here so we know which one's which. I'll set that over here. I'll type iperf3-c and I'll type the IP address of the Mac. And here we go, we're getting uh, 387, 456 megabits per second to the Mac. And you see it on both. So the server shows it and the uh, Mac shows it. So, so you can do it either way. If you wanted, uh, say you had two QNAP NASs and you're uh, sending files between it, you could install this on both of them and you could run a test between the two to see if you're getting your, you know, say full gigabit ethernet or something. I'm running this over a wireless link so I'm not getting gigabit ethernet speed. So, um, and actually I can demonstrate that. Let me get into another computer. Okay, so this is on my other Mac, which is connected via Ethernet to the network. So I'll type iperf3-c. I'll type the IP address of the QNAP NAS. I'll hit enter here. And you'll see we're getting uh, 951, 946, 945. So this is a gigabit Ethernet. So you'll never get 1,000 megabits per second. But you'll get approximately that. So. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.